Inmates, how is life behind bars? No, not these bars, but these bars. I posted on social media just the other day saying there's a product that we've been working on for nine months. Hand on heart, I generally thought it's been nine months, but the person who has developed this product actually started working on it two years ago. What I'm about to show you, I am so excited about because so much thought, so much work has gone into the development of this. The person who invented this product, I'm really sorry to string this one out, it's just that it deserves a big long drum roll. But the person who developed this product, he's literally just left here, shown me it on my bike, and I'm blown away with it. I wear my heart on my sleeve, which a lot of you know, and I was like, mate, you've nailed it. So this is like the third, this is the third prototype revision that I've seen, but I think there's been about 10 or 11 different re revisions over time. But he, he just mentioned that he saw my social media post saying nine months in the making, and he said, no, more like two years. So apologies to, to him for that. Now, over time, a lot of you who know me, that I like to bring products to a bike thing which no one else has got. Things like, if you buy an Easy Can or a Can Smart from me, well then you automatically get a dust cap for free. With every Easy Can and the Can Smart, you get a little black bung inside the micro USB ports. Everybody loses them. Okay, you take them out, you plug it into the computer, you drop it inside the bike, and it's gone. So what we do is we sell these dust caps. Now, it was never my idea. It was one of my customers. One of my customers reached out to me and said, Steve, I've lost the little dust cap thing. So what I did is I made my own. I 3D printed it, but we used a special rubbery plastic material. So it was a nice rubbery cap that goes on that easy can and can smart i said to him what a great idea instead of making it in black can you make it in clear so we can still see the little light through the cover so the customer doesn't have to take the actual cap off to see that there's power going to their easy can or can smart i'll buy them in the hundreds from you and we literally give them to you obviously we do sell them as well as one-offs if people want to buy them for their easy can and can smart which they bought elsewhere but if you buy an easy can or can smart from us we just give it to you for free because we're just like that. That same guy came up with more ideas with regards to the T3 handguard mounts for the BMW GS, also the S100XR, it's the same handguard mount, but we have our own design so we can put T3s onto the BMW handguards where it all looks like it's original factory spec. Once again, a bit of a collaboration between my customers and myself bringing you unique products. This is a very similar thing with this. We're gonna talk about headlight guards. The selection of headlight guards out there in the world is immense. There's so many. Now, who would you say is leading the premium top shelf headlight guard? You hear it everywhere, in my opinion as well. I would say Lone Rider completely own that premium top shelf product for a headlight guard. It's fantastic. It's what I've had on my bike for nearly two years since I bought it new. You'll notice my bike has actually got no headlight guard on it whatsoever because I've taken it off because of this new product that has just been designed. And before I get to it as well, this new product that has been designed, I've managed to negotiate with the designer of it that I have full exclusivity to it. So it's got my branding on there. You can't buy it from anywhere else. If you want this, don't bother shopping around you get it from here. This is where it is. I've got full exclusivity to it. So here is the Lone Rider Guard. Based on a video that I did on some Peak Design stuff recently, I had a comment from this guy saying, don't badmouth other products to talk about new products. I never badmouthed any products. I've never badmouthed Quadlock because I'm talking about the new products and what I used to have. Quadlock is a fantastic product. It's fit for purpose. It's excellent. All I would say is Peak Design's better. That's it, okay? It's what is right for you. Getting back on track, this is the Lone Rider Guard. Now this is almost two years old. It's one of the very first Lone Rider Guards that came out where they had the X light put onto it because this is one of the very, very first 2021 models. I actually bought it in 2020, but it's um, got the 2021 adaptive headlight, so of which the X light came out for it, but you can get them in the G light as well. 
Bearing in mind this is two, uh, nearly two years old, it's done about 6,000 miles. I think the bike's done between five and 6,000 miles. Not a lot, I, know, I appreciate, but it's still in brand new condition. It's a very, very good product. You get what you pay for. There's a lot of replicas out there, imitations, and I've seen them come in because we've got bikes in this workshop every day. So I see GSs coming in with knockoff versions of this, and you can see the quality difference. This is a fantastic product. Hats off to Lone Rider, amazing product. Plus, if you want this great big, as uh, someone told me the other day, this G-Shock style of headlight guard, it's rugged, action man, hero kind of thing, where it looks like it's ready to go into war. This is the thing you wanna go for. However, the downsides to this are, obviously you've got this great big mesh guard, looks good. Behind the mesh guard, you then have the clear perspex because if you want your headlight to actually be effective at night time, ideally you need to flip down that front guard so you're looking through this, so it's clear. This still stands quite a long way from this front headlight piece here. And if you are looking over the top of your, your windshield and looking down here, you'll notice this picks up a lot of light and is that, it actually bounces back like towards the bike and it, it still diminishes the light quality coming from your original manufacturer spec headlight. But not only that, that's another layer again. So when it comes to washing our bikes, those of you who want your bikes to be sparkly clean all the time, you'll know if you've got any sort of flip down screen, you've got to pop off the front. I know it pops down, but it's quite tricky to pop it down without actually jerking the whole thing down. But you've got to pop off the front, pop down the cage at the front, pop this off, get behind it so you can clean everywhere because rain, water, salt water, uh, you know, white spotting will still happen behind the lens. So obviously we want to get it as clean as we possibly can. So it's a bit of a nightmare to wash. It's time consuming. Now the other thing we do for the Lone Rider headlight guard is the selective yellow. So we've managed to source the exact same color selective yellow lens that Denali use for their colored selective yellow lenses because you get different yellows, but that's the exact same color. So we get a lot of customers buying this for their Lone Rider guard. So if you're out there, you've got a Lone Rider guard and you want to get the exact same size, same profile, we've got them here on the website in selective yellow for the Lone Rider guard. And obviously there's the clear one that comes with the actual Lone Rider guard when you originally buy it. I've got the, the amber one fitted to mine, which a lot of people do have, and it matches beautifully with my amber emblems, my amber D2s, and my amber DRLs on the turn signals. There's a lot of amber going on during daylight running time for me. Right, so let's put this to one side. So I think that's enough said about the Lone Rider headlight guard. Fantastic product, well done. Okay, so what I've got here, this is a product which the same person who's designed this new headlight guard for me, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, also did this for me. But you'd be familiar with this product because you can buy this product on eBay for probably 20, 30 pounds or something. However, when they arrive, they're quite cheap. Like the, the standoffs that go inside the bezel of the headlight just like little plastic barrels. I used to sell them, but I stopped selling them because I didn't think they were premium enough. They're right at the other end of the spectrum of quality parts, in my opinion. So I stopped selling them, and then I found this guy who started making better quality ones, which are on my website now. And when I say better quality, I'm talking about you open the pack and you get a Torx 10 driver in the box, it comes with it. You get amber, yellow, and blue although I wouldn't recommend you use the blue. You get that and you obviously get the clear lens as well. But instead of using plastic barrels as standoffs with little um, caps, we actually have a bag of, I think they're aluminium, I'm not too sure, but they are very, very high quality little standoff uh, spacers which screw, you unscrew the, the bezel here. I would show you, but I'm too more, I'm too excited about the, the, the actual product I want to show you. You unscrew the bezel just here, you leave the bezel in place, you then pop on the standoffs in the same places. There's a little spanner, a plastic spanner in there to, so you can actually get them on. And then you put the clear lens on top, and then if you want to, you can put one of the colored filters on it as well. I'll show you pictures now because they're on the website. They've been on the website for the last year or so. This is a very popular product. That's the X-Lite version. We have them in stock. They literally arrive like that under a plain cover if you buy them from us. And this one is the G-Lite version, okay? 
So that is as budget as we go on those. I can't remember the price of them, but they're on the website. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps because I'm about to show you the new guard. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of the best way how to show you this. So right now you are seeing this completely original manufacturer spec. The new guard, you'll have options to have G light or X light. First of all, why do we need a headlight guard for our bikes? Now, I think a lot of you know the answer to this question. It's because this headlight here, if you get a stone chip, if you crack it or anything, you can't replace the front part there. You've got to put a whole new headlight in there. And the last time I looked, this was 1,300 pounds. That's 1,300 sterling. That's an expensive headlight unit. So we do need to protect this from stone chips. Now I've got a friend, I've got many friends, who don't like headlight guards. They don't want the great big thing in front of it. They want to keep it as original as they possibly can. Now the products I'm about to show you, I've shown it to a couple of my friends. They want it. They want it so badly because the guard I'm gonna show you, when it's on, it looks better than what you have here. And there's no, nothing sits in front of the headlight. Nothing additional. When I show it to you on the bike, you might not even notice it. Well, you're gonna notice it because I'm telling you about it. But if I said to you right now, it's already on there, would you believe me? Would you? Okay, it's not on there, but let me take this off and put the new one on. Here we go. Bearing in mind, this is the prototype, okay? This is the prototype. As we take the cover off, here it is, guys. Here it is. First of all, we've got my logo right there at the very top. Where you see the amber insert, this actually comes out. So what we have here is a complete clear piece of Perspex inside there. This will replace the bezel on the front of the headlight that you currently have here in place. So I'm gonna unscrew these four screws that are on the front of the bike now, and we're gonna reuse those same four screws to put this on. And you'll notice that this is slightly deeper than the bezel that's on the bike. It's so the, the Perspex on the front sits 10 mil away from the front of the headlight itself. The beauty of this is once it's on, it's a sealed unit. So when it comes to washing, you shouldn't need to take this off to wash. But if you want to, you can just unscrew, unscrew the four screws and take it off if you do need to get behind it for any reason. And then you've got the original headlight behind it. If you crack this front piece of Perspex, we will sell them. We, we will have these in stock so you can buy just the clear Perspex. We can change the color of the amber to yellow and additional cost. We also, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, have a mirrored lens to go in here as well. Now you're thinking, why would you want mirrored? Just wait and see, because it actually looks pretty frigging cool. Okay, let's get this on. By the way, this is not the screwdriver that comes in the pack. This is my own. So let me show you the BMW original bezel. So there it is there. This is the same on the, the GS and the GS Adventure, R1200 version and the R1250 version, whether it's a G light or an X light, it's the same, okay? Obviously, as you can see, there's no glass in there. A lot of you may not realize that, that that's all it is. It's just a bezel which goes around the light here, but that is a sealed unit. So the back of this is a complete copy of the back of that. But as we push this on, it goes over the top like so. So everything sits so much closer to the original headlight, which basically means that when you stand in front of your bike with an amber lens on it, you'll always see a little bit of the, the white light behind it, depending on what angle you're looking at. This will eliminate it a lot more because the amber filters so much closer to that DRL on the bike. There it is. What do you think? That just looks so stealthy and good. Now, I personally think looking at the front of the original BMW one and then going to my one, this looks better and beefier and more aggressive and stealthier than this one. Right, let me turn it on so you can see it working.
So now you've seen it with the amber lens on there. Let's just take this right back so it looks like a complete OEM finish without the amber lens on there at all. And I'll show you how we take that off really, really easily. So we're just gonna undo the bezel again. So we're just gonna turn this over onto this cloth. And inside here, you can see you've got four screws. We've got one here, one here, one there, and one there. The ones on each side is holding the, the colored filter in, and you've also got two black clips here to, to prevent the filter from bowing inwards away from the perspex. Just makes, makes it completely flat against the perspex, the clear perspex. So the clear perspex is on the outside, and then the colored filter is on the inside. But let's just undo those two screws. Now the screw thread holes inside the bezel are actually like metal barrels, you know, metal threaded barrels on the inside. So they're not just going into plastic. So now I've loosened those off. I can then push that clip backwards there, push that one back and it slides out. And that is the filter right there. Okay. As an optional extra, if you want to add a selective yellow lens, there's a selective yellow one there. You just pop that into place. Doesn't matter which way it goes round. That just clicks into place, put the screws back in there again, and now we've got selective yellow on the bike. So just pop that out. Now remember, with Lone Rider, you have to have the clear X to go on the front of here, whereas we don't need that. All we need to do is put these screws back. Now the screws have been developed in a way where they fit perfectly with or without the filter. So they, they won't be too long for the, they're not too long for the actual bezel itself. So by putting these two screws back, we now have one, two, three, four, holding the clear perspex in place. It's also worth knowing that between the clear perspex and the bezel, there is like this dense sponge around the outs outside, which will help to prevent dirty water getting in behind here. All right, but if you want to, you can unscrew all, all these four, pop out the clear lens completely. But obviously this ultimately is your screen protector. If you take this out, then obviously it's, the, it's not doing its job. Right, so let's just put this back on as it is like this. So there it is there. And there it is. Now that, that is what this is all about. There we have something which looks completely factory standard. This doesn't even look like it's been added. If, you, if I didn't tell you about this, you would have to have a very close inspection to see that this has got a screen protector on there. It almost looks like there's no screen protector on there. That is the beauty of this product. Okay, but there is, the screen protector is there. It's sitting 10 to 15 mil away from the headlight, completely protecting that light in there. Okay, if we turn the bike on. There we go. And again, you would never know there's a screen, a screen protector there, but there is. We are protecting our headlight the best way we possibly can. Now for the bit of fun, we're gonna put the mirrored lens on and the mirrored lens, I think, just makes it look super stealthy. So let's take this off again. So we're gonna unscrew this lens again. Unclip it from those pieces there. And there is the clear protector lens. Put that to one side there. Now we're inside here, you probably can't see it very well, but there is the foam gasket going around the outskirts here. And that is gonna help keep out any dirt and water from actually getting in between here and the main headlight. It's not a guaranteed watertight seal, but it will help. And I'm gonna be testing that actually this weekend to see how well it can keep out the rainwater because I know it's gonna to rain tomorrow when I'm out for a ride. Now we have the mirrored lens. So this one goes, this is a polarized finish. It goes in one way, 
because you've got a flat edge here and a curved edge there. Same with the clear lens. So that's now held into place. We now get the screws in. So I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna offer that up now as it is. Okay, so look at that, that mirrored look. So the bike is turned off. The only reason I'm using my torch here is so it's a trick the bike to think it's daytime. I want you to see that DRL. Here we go, gonna turn on the bike now. There it is. Turn it off. So by looking on there, you can see the light still comes through really, really nicely. And off it goes and you've got that mirrored look to it. And what do you think to that? Uh, that, that is just lovely. So now I've taken the mirrored lens back off again, and this time I'm going to put the amber light back on there. There we go. So as you can see, you can see the lens behind there, but as soon as that goes against a sealed background, you can't see it as clearly until a light comes on behind it. So let's now put this on the bike. Mirrored lens, amber, filter. You can't see the amber filter at all, can you? There it is. That's very nice. So you can see the white light coming through there because that's in nighttime mode. The fact my lower D3s are coming on tells me that that is in nighttime mode because it thinks it's dark in here. If it is daylight in here, using my torch on my phone, if I put that on there, that's what you get in the daytime. Okay, so let's now turn the ignition off. And then in a minute, that's going to go down to the mirrored finish. There we go. And you can't see the amber very clearly at all behind that lens. Nice mirror, which gives it such a stealthy look. So tell me what you think. Would you buy this for your, your GS, your GS Adventure? I think the design is frigging cool. I think it's much nicer than the original manufacturer's bezel as well. So looking at that bezel there, in comparison, if I just hover it over the top, there's the original one. And then there's the new, much stealthier, more rugged, bulkier look. Any stone chip that comes up and hits this, obviously will damage the protective layer in front of your light. That is why we need to buy these protective guards for our headlights. But as I mentioned, you won't need to replace the whole thing, not unless a stone hits the side of the bezel or something and cracks it. But uh, if it hits straight into the Perspex here, well then you can just buy a spare piece of Perspex from us. I will be releasing a price in due course and I'll be attaching a link to this video to where you can pre-order it. At this point in time, I haven't actually got a price in my head of what I want to sell it for, but there will be going online very shortly for pre-orders. Now I've decided, because I'm, I'm out on a ride tomorrow morning in the rain, I've decided to keep this mirrored lens on there with the amber light behind it. I think it just looks really stealthy. However, I probably wouldn't do that if I didn't have the extra Denali lights. So during the day, I've got my amber D2s down here. 
I've got these Amber Duke D2s shining ever so brightly. I've obviously got these shining brightly. And then I've got the Amber DRL behind this mirrored screen coming on as well. And I've got my emblems as well. So I, I'm gonna be seen during daylight hours and then, and then at nighttime, my D3s come on at about 30 to 40% so I can see down the road. The headlight in here is gonna be diminished because of this headlight protector, because I've got the mirrored lens on there. So if you're not gonna fit extra lights, then I would probably say don't fit the mirrored lens and just go with the clear lens which comes with the kit. I completely rely on Denali for shining the way forward down the road as opposed to the headlight on here. And if you think about it, this is probably clearer than the Lone Rider headlight guard because we've got the mesh grill in front of it. I think a lot of us don't even bother flicking down the actual mesh guard. So that takes away a lot of the light down the road anyway. Whereas this, this is a, this is a great all-rounder. I am just so excited by it. I think it looks so cool. <laughs> Hey, can you see me? You can probably see me in the, in the lens, so um, yeah. Right, meanwhile, stay safe behind bars and I'll see you in the next video.